this is a metaphor uh, of uh, children and campfires and how that relates to the small business. So whenever I say something about a child or a campfire, think small business, okay? So children need to be given the freedom to try, to try anything. And they need to be guided to be safe. That's it. And business is the same. You need to try things and you need to stay safe. That's basically it. Campfire needs protection from the wind, and uh, campfires need fuel uh, added carefully in the beginning. If you put a log on a campfire when it's just smoking in the tinder, it's going to smother the, the smoke. You're not going to have a fire. So small business and insurance, new business needs protection from er early expenses, and new business needs guidance to stay safe and to grow slowly. So insurance premiums provide little value in early business life, and insurance does not add value until the business has grown to, a, to an established or sustainable profit size. So liability stifles business as telling a child that they can't do what they want to do. Uh, if a business wants to do something, we should encourage it by providing the experience re required as we would with a child provide the experience safely. Liability comments by others point to the unnecessary need for insurance for new small business. It's just a scare. It, and we have this phobia about you know, how it's going to fail before we even start. Outdoor public skating rink was killed by the need for insurance because of the public liability. Why not put up a sign that says use at your own risk? Scouting movement, the same. Pocket knives, fire, hatchets, they're all scary things. But you teach a young person how to use those things and they're safe. Rules surrounding driving have become prohibitive with high premiums. Police checks, another form of insurance. Are police checks useful? I don't know, I don't think so. Have government, have government, here's a remedy. Have government offer insurance until a business reaches a sustainable, profitable level, have government offer liability protection and uh, allow good mistakes to be made and allow new small business to keep what's good and discard what's not, thus creating a condition for growth and economy and wealth. So wealth. Only, it's only possible if owners of new business can also own their intellectual property. And uh, it's only possible if new business is allowed to try new ideas and is allowed to make calculated risks. So building economy can only happen if a person with an idea and a drive can make a profit. Profit is not a dirty word. Profit is something that's necessary to make business work. So children and small business, they both need freedom, guidance, support, and vision, they need to be protected, they need collaboration, and they need capital. And I, I did have notes here that I can follow, but I don't know where I am here. So, <laughs> so uh, campfires and small business need protection from the wind. The metaphor with business is you need to protect a business from negative comment, why, why it can't be done. Small businesses need to grow slowly, not to overextend. And campfires need a spark. Metaphor for business is an idea. Fuel, metaphor for business is drive. Air, metaphor for business is low early expenses, not a large premium to have to pay for insurance. It is reasons for failure. It's never been done before. We've never done it that way. You will be liable. You can't help children, you might be liable, you can't put your, heart, your arm around a child or give them a hug anymore. Uh, if it could be done, someone else would have done it by now. You might hurt yourself and others, all reasons why business will fail, even before you start. So insurance, the pendulum has swung too far to the right. Insurance premiums have gone up in Canada when the World Trade Center went down in New York. 
And are we a sovereign country anymore since our insurance is now underwritten in the U.S.?